So this video is going to be about habitat fragmentation and edge habitats. So fragmentation is going to be when you have one larger ecosystem and you break that up into several smaller ecosystems, which leads to the creation of these edge habitats. So for example, in this picture, we can see this particular edge habitat where uh, this forested area meets the area that runs right next to the river. And so edges have unique physical conditions that are different from the conditions of the physical environments on either side of that edge. So for example, uh, in this picture again, we can see that the physical conditions on this side of the edge habitat are much different than those that are on the other side of that edge habitat. So some characteristics of edge habitats. Um, so there are actually some organisms that survive really well um, on edge habitats because uh, they are able to utilize resources from then both sides, both sides of that edge habitat. So uh, going back to this picture, for example, if there was, say, some organism that did really well along this edge, they would be able to use the resources both from this forested region and from the region where uh, we have the river. And so um, a downside to uh, edge habitats is that unnatural edges typically uh, reduce biodiversity and uh, have uh, more edge species. So for example, this would be an example of an unnatural edge. And so we can see that because they've fragmented this larger forested area, now we're gonna have reduced biodiversity along that edge because um, organisms are not gonna be able to utilize now the resources from the full scale habitat that they were used to prior to the habitat fragmentation. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you!